Several government agencies presented their specific plans and steps to help the country's economy recover from the effects of the pandemic. Some of those plans include improving our infrastructure and the digitalization of all government transactions for a more efficient and accountable public service. Kenneth Pashente has more. The full redevelopment plan for 2023 to 2028 to the Honorable President Marcos Jr. The National Economic Development Authority, or NEDA, handed over to President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. the copy of the Philippine Development Plan 2023-2028. This will serve as the government's blueprint for the next six years to reinvigorate the economy from the effects of the pandemic. Government agencies laid out their plans. The DOT and DPWH will work together to build infrastructure to strengthen the tourism sector. The DOT is also set to conduct upscaling and reskilling for tourism workers, and that access of tourists to emergency services in their destinations will be possible. We have a lot of programs and plans in place in the years to come, and we are very hopeful that with the partnership of our international partners and the person of the diplomatic community, as well as our private sector and most especially our local government units, we would be able to give the Philippines a fighting chance at not only reclaiming its position pre-pandemic, but more importantly, into transforming the Philippines into a tourism powerhouse in Asia. Meanwhile, the DTI is eyeing to support the MSMEs by teaching them digital transformation. In fact, the agency aims to teach them the use of artificial intelligence and digital catalog for their businesses. We will not neglect our obligation to consumers and we will continue to provide consumer protection. The DOE, on the other hand, plans to develop more energy sources in the next years. We've got to make all sectors realize that they can't be blocking power projects that are going to benefit the entire country if we are to see the, uh, the sustainable development of our economy. The ICT will focus on cyber connectivity to widen the online capability of the country because when more places have internet connection, it will help in the economy. What our department is um, coming up with is ensuring that there, is data, there are data standards that are followed and there's data harmonization. Meanwhile, the DPWH will address the problem of traffic congestion. This by creating projects under Build Better More, which will eventually open job opportunities for workers. We will address uh, flood mitigation uh, structures in the major river basins. We have 18 major river basins all over the country. And uh, of course, uh, we intend to, uh, to uh, support uh, uh, the disaster risk and climate change adaptation program. The president has pointed out that the Philippine Development Plan is not just a responsibility of the government, but it needs a whole-of-nation approach for it to succeed. Kenneth Pasciente for The Nation.